We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Chicago Cubs and the Washington Nationals. And that brings up Javi Baez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. A 1 1. Nope. Two balls, one strike, the count. Grounder down the line at third, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. High in the air into shallow left center. Turner has a play. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. Now the one and one pitch. There's an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Corbin, a six-foot three-inch left-hander. He was taken in the second round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, Maddie. they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. The 2-1. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. That is four. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Now it's swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. That's a well-placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. The 2-2 two -two. gets him looking strike three. So stepping in, Trey Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Into the box, Adam Eaton. And there he goes towards second. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Here's Howie Kendrick. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Howie. And now they've got him in a rundown. And they got him at second base on a good, smart play that time. Quintana gets the sign. Here's the one and one. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate his career batting line with Patrick Corbin pretty average results four for 15 he's taken him deep once and that pitch comes over to catch the corner it's two and two now swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one digging in Kyle Schwarber is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. 
able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one another one two delivery right side defense aligned perfectly oh look at the sliding stop it's there and he's out so bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up the outfielder Steven Souza Jr. Here's the two one home hits this one hard the other way throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Ready now Juan Soto as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. A one one. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right so we'll try it again at one and two. Now the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the power hitting first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. High in the air out to center field. Almora is in his tracks now. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring in the catcher Kurt Suzuki. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. the plate Albert Almora as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one now the one and one pitch line hard but this is a foul ball out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line that's going to be a fair ball and this will find the wall out near the visitors bullpen and the Cubs could be onto something here it's a leadoff double the pitcher, number 62, Jose Quintana. Into the box now, Jose Quintana. And they'll try to get the man to third as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. The bat. So it's back to the top of the order now. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. Two two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Striding in, David Bodie he drew a base on the balls second. his first time up. One and one. Here it is. Skied into very shallow right. Thames is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. And now for Washington, Starlin Castro. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The one two. That's ball two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Schwarber is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Eric Thames. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. The pitcher, Patrick Corbin, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Bob the throw pulls him off the bag. 
Standing in now, Trey Turner. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Now a swing and a miss. Maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. Stepping into the box, Adam Eaton. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Coming to the plate now, Howie Kendrick. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the sign. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. Now the payoff pitch home. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this and that to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Fouled away. Contreras stands at first with one out. Another one sent foul. The next 3 2. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Schwarber outside and low that time now it's two balls and two strikes the 2 2 pitch for the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's thrown a bunch of pitches and this a B hasn't been any different definitely laboring at the moment well hit deep down the right field line and that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Left side, but well fouled. Payoff pitch one more time. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Digging in, Steven Souza. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A 1 2 pitch. Slow roller down the third baseline. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And the 29th pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that'll finally end it. Juan Soto to the plate now. The 1-2. 
bounces in the dirt for a ball. Still two and two. Pitch on the way. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. So digging in now, Ryan Zimmerman. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Swung on and missed that strike two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Almora in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now with the play, Kurt the Suzuki. The 2-1. That's popped up. Here comes Souza, but it's down as that drops in for a two-out single. So we'll go a little deeper into the bottom of the fourth as that extends the inning. Now battle. The third baseman. Starling. Stepping in now, Starlin Castro. Pitch is popped up. Rizzo over to his left. And that ends the inning. And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora Jr. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. A runner at first with no outs here. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. And they'll just tag him out along the first base line. So the lineup flips over and digging in Javier Baez. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. The set and the 1 1 pitch hit the other way out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. The next hub up, David Bodie, runner in scoring position with two gone. The 1 1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. One and two, here it is. Takes this the other way to right. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead one nothing. Now battle. The third base. Run. At the plate, Chris Bryant. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Bryant looking at a three and one count. Well this has been a long inning already and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Inside with the fastball and he works the base on ball. So now it will be the four hole hitter Wilson Contreras and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch slap hard the opposite way and that's in there base hit and the run will score from second to make this a two nothing ball game. The first base number 44 Anthony Rizzo. So now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo lifted the other way down the left field line. 
And they can't run it down. Struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Now batting, Eric Thames reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Into the box now, the Nationals pitcher, Patrick Corbin. Patrick. No runs, three hits, Corbin. and no errors so far for the Nationals. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hey, if you're going to get a swing on a pitch that far in off the plate, pretty much options are wide open. Two and two the count. So a full count now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Quintana gets the sign. 1-1 one, one on its way. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Schwarber is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. set for the start of the inning striding into the box Kyle Schwarber he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far this ball will be chopped foul misses ball two sliced hard on the ground Castro has it and the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Right fielder. Ready for another Steven. shot now. Steven Souza. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. Still a ball and two strikes. The 1 2. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Grounded back up the middle, and that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. The center field, number five, Albert Almora. To the plate now, Albert Almora. Hit swung on and missed the throw. He's there and he's out as he's nailed by Suzuki. Two runs, five hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he is in to third with a two out triple. Austin Voss, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. At the plate now, Jose Quintana. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. And it's fouled away. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Adam Eaton digging in next. It was a walk in his last trip. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, a base hit. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. The, 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 
In now, Howie Kendrick takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Into the box, Juan Soto. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. And their runners at the corners now. The one two. Here's a little chopper up the middle. There's one. And nearly a double play. That was closer than I thought it would be. And the inning will continue. Digging in and looking for more, Kurt Suzuki. He's one for two in the ball game. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. All even now, two and two. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll, so striding in, Javier Baez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. The one-two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Stepping into the box, David Bodie. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. The 1 2. Misses for the second ball. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. 2 to 1, our score. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3 and 2. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. David Bodie goes down for out number two in the top half. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. This is on the ground over to first. Zimmerman has it. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and his side is retired. Alec Mills gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 30. So here's Starlin Castro. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, this one's gonna upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. The right fielder, number nine, Aaron. Hey. Standing in now, Eric Thames. Slapped hard the opposite way, but he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. That's Brubel Cabrera will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 13, Brubel Cabrera. One out and a runner on second base. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Cabrera is retired, two down now. So stepping in, Trey Turner, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield.
changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Really deceptive changeup right there. It died right before the plate, and he was left reaching for air. Count still at one and two. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. <laughs> Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Outside and a full count, three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Here's the payoff pitch. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Sean Doolittle has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 63. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Wilson Contreras. Singled home a run in his last time up. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. And another foul ball. The 1 2. On the line, that's a base hit in the left field. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And this will bang up against the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now back. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. At the plate, Anthony Rizzo popped him up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring up the outfielder Steven Souza Jr. The set and the 2-1 to two, 2-2 two and two now. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Fastball is outside and it's full now. Three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. Fouled off. Here's the payoff pitch. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Throw to second, and he's out. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. Kyle Ryan will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Jason Hayward is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. So now to the plate, Adam Eaton. That misses and we're even at two and two. Ryan has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Cutter and it doesn't make it back three and two. lifted down the line and left but this will land untouched too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact the next three two and this is taken here for ball four so the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight now back 
Stepping in, Howie Kendrick. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. The 1 1. Hit back up the middle. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Stepping in now, Juan Soto. Outside, two and one. In his career, Soto begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525. Certainly a line he can take pride in. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Boy, the Nationals could use a big hit right here. They really haven't been able to do much all game long. This would be a great time to get something going. In the air now, out to right field. And this is taken in shy of the track, but the runner will tag from second. Stepping up to the plate, Ryan Zimmerman. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Zimmerman. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Hit in the air down the right field line. Hayward on the run. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. But not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. So a new pitcher entering the fray now. It'll be the hard-throwing right-hander Craig Kimbrell. Kurt Suzuki will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. The 2-1 home takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Daniel Hudson enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. New inning set to get underway. Ready once again. Albert Almora already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled away. The one two. That's bolted. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Now back. Coming to the plate now, Jason Hayward. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 1 home. Fly ball out toward right field. Thames is there, two down. Here's Javier Baez struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Here's the 2 1 home. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center after it is eaten. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Dan Winkler comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 43. Dan. Bottom of the inning now. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Starlin Castro. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And it's a base hit. And just like that, the potential tying run is aboard here to start the home half of the ninth. At the plate now, Eric Thames. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And it's fouled away. Oh, 
trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Rizzo was there. One there on the first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. as there are quickly two away now. Victor Robles will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 15, Victor Robles. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You know, it's always nice to get that first one under your belt when you start a four-game series on the road. Takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails of the guys in the home dugout and gives you confidence to come back and do it again tomorrow. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Chicago Cubs used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Jose Quintana earns the win his second. Dan Winkler hammers down the save his fifth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Three runs on eight hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Nationals, two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. The winning pitcher is Jose Quintana. His record is now two and one.